What's going on everybody? How's it going? Mr. J here. Hey, the weekend's right around the corner, and you know what that means. Fan Art Friday is here. The channel series where I take you through a time lapse of my artwork in hopes to inspire and motivate you on your own artistic adventures. This week's episode's got me really excited because I finally got around to doing a picture that I've been trying to do for about two, three years now. Siri from The Witcher 3. Still in my books, one of my all-time favorites, right up there with the original Halo trilogy, this game walks on hollowed ground to me. I can hop in it at any time and still have fun. It's so immersive, there's so many decisions and quests, you can't possibly play it the same twice. If you've never played it before, I highly recommend playing. It's worth every penny. From the very beginning of the game, Siri was a character that was just tailored to the suit my liking. From the platinum blonde hair to her recklessness, her likeliness ironically mirrors a character that I created in my own comic book. No, I didn't get inspired by the game, just coincidence only. But from the first time seeing her graphic, I had a feeling that I was going to enjoy her character, and the game did not disappoint. After watching last week's episode, someone gave me requests to give more insight into my drawing process in my videos. I will oblige, however, I am working on a separate series which focuses on walkthroughs. When I get the series up and running, which should be soon, those will have more of a focus on process tips and advice. Don't forget to subscribe if that sounds like something you'd like to see. Given the fact that I've been trying to work on this picture for so long, and am just now finally getting around to it, I wanted to put a little bit more extra time on this photo. So the process you'll see me go through is a little bit different than what I have been doing in previous weeks. This method I would do for covers or highly detailed pieces. The design of the video game is purposed towards ultra realism. Result. The reference photo is going to be void of any kind of hardlining, which is okay. Uh, given my comic book background, I'm going to stick to hard lines anyway, just so that I can give it a little bit of my own artistic flair. But what's really going to make this photo pop is the coloring process. Once finished with the line work, I put the line work in the background on its own layer added a separate layer, and completely retraced the outline of the character. Drawing around the perimeter of the character allows me to turn that space into a selection where I can apply paint to just that portion. Once that portion is complete, I can take it and put it on its own separate layer so that I can always go back to that selection at any given time. By turning on lock transparency, I can ensure that wherever I paint, paint is only applied into the area within the selection. Remember when the teacher always told you to stay in the lines? Not anymore, sucker. Once the perimeter selection is done, I did the same process for every single piece within the character that was going to be covered. For example, the swords, the belts, the bustier, the boots, pants, so on and so forth. And once again, with every single piece, I apply them to their own layer in their own selection. That way I can color every single specific item without having to worry about hindering anything else in my artwork. Once all that's finished, from there, it's just paint and more paint. Now 
I hope you're enjoying another episode of Fan Art Fridays. If you are, give me a like. If you're not, give me a dislike. Come on, let me know how I'm doing. And hey, if you have any suggestions, what you want to see me draw for Fan Art Fridays, go ahead and hit me in the comment section. We'll see if we can make it happen. As we wrap up, I'd like to remind you to subscribe for all my future videos. Don't forget, guided tutorials are coming soon. And as always, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. This is Mr. J. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.